Wouldn't it be amazing to be able to advertise vacancies in your Discord for different roles? So if you want to get somebody to become a moderator, rather than them just spamming the chat with me, me, I want to be mod, mod me, please. What do I need to do to become mod? They can just apply for the job now. And this is how we do it. The bot we're going to use is called Appy. So I'll click on invite, select which server you want it to join and click on continue. We'll give Appy administrator privileges and press authorize. Now that it's authorized, just double check that it's popped up in your Discord. You'll receive a message as well from Appy. What we're going to want to do is create two channels. So under our text channels, we're going to create a new text channel and call it vacancies. And we're also going to create another text channel and call it application forms. I'm going to move the application forms completely out of the way of our text channels. And for the permissions for application forms, we want to click on the little cog, go to permissions, and under roles, I want everyone to not have access to this channel. The reason being is that we don't want anybody else to see other people's application forms or know that other people have been applying for positions. But next to where it says roles and members, we will click on the plus and we will allow the administrators to have access. We'll now click on escape. And what that means is that everybody in the Discord will not be able to see this application forms folder. Now it's time to set up the application form. So we want to be on the application forms channel that we created earlier. And in this channel, we want to go forward slash setup and press enter twice on the keyboard. You will see now that it won't actually let you set it up directly in Discord. So we need to click on the here link. This will send you to a page now where you just need to authorize permissions. Choose which server you wish to configure. And we want to click configure under the applications tab. Now we automatically put an application form in there. We can just use this one unless you want to create a brand new application. So where we've got a series of letters and numbers, we will just click once on there. We want to go under the application name. So what we'll go for this is moderator job. So under log channel, this is where the completed application forms are going to go. We want this to go under our application forms channel. So nobody else can get access to these. Only yourself and any other administrators that you've got in your channel. Restricted role is if you've got somebody under a certain role that you don't want to be able to apply for the position. Accepted roles is that if they get the position, what do you want them to have the role for? For us, it's the moderator role. Denied roles is that if they do not get the position, do you want to change their role at all? So for example, we don't want to change anything if they don't get the job. Pin roles is that if somebody's made an application, then you can make certain roles aware that an application has been made. When somebody's completed the application, what do you want it to say to them? By default, it is that your application has been submitted. That's fine, we'll leave it as that. And it's the same scenario for the accepted message and the denied message. The default messages for us are fine. You can change them if you want to. Now under questions, this is for the actual application form itself. So by default, do you like dogs? I suppose we could leave that in there, but we'll change it. So we'll go with why do you think you would be a good moderator? Now underneath we've got the option of adding a new question or you can do a multiple choice question. If we do another new question and next to there we have a multiple choice question where you can basically put a question. You can put different answers so they can have like yes, no, maybe or you can put numbers in there if you want to. For our application form we don't need it so we'll delete what we've just created. And we'll scroll back to the top and make sure that we've enabled it. If you leave it disabled, it just means that people can't complete the application form. And make sure that we save the changes. Now, if we go back to Discord, we will do forward slash help. And this gives you a list of commands that you can use. Now, what we want to do is make sure that people can apply. So we'll go forward slash apply, press enter once. And now we've got the options of whichever application forms we've got available. At the moment, we've got the moderator job. So we'll click on that and press enter again. And now we've received a private message. And this is the application form. So do you wish to apply for the job or don't you want to apply? We want to apply for the position. So question one, do you think you'll be a good moderator? I will be amazing. Question two, do you have moderator experience? No. And now the application form has been complete. Now what we'll do is we'll go back to our server and under application forms, we can see there we've got an application form. We can see what's being filled in and we get the option of we can accept the application. We can deny it or we can look at history. So it's been an amazing application. We're going to accept it. Now if we go back to our private messages, and if I take a look at myself in Discord, we can see I've now got the moderator role as well. Do you remember when we were first set up the application form and we had the option of panels? 
If you don't remember, go back to your Discord and type in forward slash setup, press enter twice and click here. Select your server again. Now under panels, click on configure. Now click on that funky numbers and text. Change the name of your panel to something like vacancies. Under panel description, put something like apply for one of these jobs. Under channel, put this under the vacancy section so everybody in your Discord can see it. And under applications, this is going to allow you to put every application form that you've created onto the panel. Click on save panel and if we go back to our discord into the vacancy section you will now see that there is a drop down where you can apply for any job that is currently available and this just looks a little neater rather than typing in forward slash apply and it's going to be much easier for your discord members to apply for jobs if you run into the issue where it is not assigning the correct role to the application then there's a simple fix for this so jump back onto your discord go to your server at the top of the screen and click on server settings click on the roles option and you may find that your API is at the bottom of this list. What you want to do is grab it on the left hand side and make sure it's above whichever role you want to assign. So for us, if we're assigned a moderator, make sure the API is above that role. Save the changes and now you're good to go and everything should work fine. If you found this video useful, make sure you check out this video here because this is going to level up your Discord even further.